Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the space station. We're back out in Kerbal Space Program 2, and today, Operation Land on the Mun is in full force. In the first episode, we did pretty good until I forgot that uh, parachutes don't work in the vacuum of space. Let's not talk about that, all right? But yes, we made it there in a fiery mess. Now, the goal today is to hopefully actually land there and have a living being on the Mun. Uh, the ultimate goal will be to come back as well. I don't know if we'll be able to do that or not. Again, I'm very new to this game, but I'm having a blast playing it. And I hope you guys are enjoying watching it as well. So first things first, we started with a small rocket. I feel like I can definitely get a little bit of a bigger rocket now. And that should help with the fuel issues I've been having. I could obviously just add more fuel tanks as well. But I do want to go bigger. I want multiple Kerbins on this thing so they can all perish. Because, yes, this first flight probably won't go well. Um, I'm very much learning as I go, and I don't even know how I want to, you know, set this thing up. I do know I need a landing gear this time. That's the important part, so we should probably start with that. We're going to put a fuel tank on this. I'm going to stick with Methalox, because it's what I know. And I would like a decent tank to possibly get back to... Um, Kerbin? I don't think I want this huge one, though. That's too big. That would be hard to balance as well. So we'll do a small fuel tank like that. That should, I don't know, be enough to get back to Kerbin. I don't know. I mean, there is less gravity on the Mun, so we need to use less fuel. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if that's enough. We obviously need an engine for that as well. All right, I think we're going to go for the Poodle because its efficiency in a vacuum is very impressive. And we want to keep this thing efficient. We don't need a powerful rocket. We just need something to get back home. Uh, so yeah, that little guy should hopefully do it. Oh, also, I should probably put a heat shield on this. That would be smart. Ah, perfect. What's the difference between these? Inflatable heat shield? No, I just want one that's always on because my luck, I'll forget to inflate it. So there we go. We have our heat shield. That should pop right back on top of that. Perfect. Uh, now we need the landing gears, which... Perfect, are right here. And do we want three of those? The typical tripod strategy or... Four. I mean, let's add as least weight as possible. So we'll add three to this. I'm not really sure if those are big enough. They have to be. It looks like those are small rockets. Let's actually launch it and test. All right. Landing gear test. Is it enough? Just. Jesus. All right. So we might lower those a bit just so I don't damage my rockets. But landing gears do indeed work. All right. One other thing I forgot is the coupling, of course. We want this to decouple uh, so we can just have the actual pod going back to Earth or Kerbin. Next up, we're going to need another stage. Obviously, this is just the lunar stage. So I'm thinking, I don't know how many stages I want here. Do I want one massive one, a small one and a big one? I think it'd be smart to get a small one and a big one. One to get out of the atmosphere and then one to travel around in space. All right, so yeah, I'm going to get the same engine. We'll see if these things are any good. We have the exact same stage, essentially, but this will be our space stage. And then we also need another massive stage to get out of the atmosphere. And I don't know how big I want this to be. We are going to need lots of fuel. This is getting pretty insane, though, in terms of size. I'm thinking, yeah, we're definitely going to want that one. Might need some aerodynamics here. I'm worried about structure as well because these things do get wobbly when you start building big but we'll definitely learn as we go here i don't think this is going to be uh great for the start but hopefully with some small fine tuning we should be good i don't know which engine i want here max thrust wow the difference of these is, is insane all right so reading these main cells made mostly for launch pad it just has insane thrust which makes sense and this other one it's good for intermediate stages so i might actually want to use that one in here I wish it showed how much fuel it uses. It might actually say that somewhere and I just don't see it. But yeah, I think I'm going to use the big boy and just see how far we can go with this. I might add some solid fuel rockets on the side if we do need them. I just want to test as we go here to make sure this thing is even, you know, doable. All right, so test flight one, wobbly already. Do not like that. Let's just launch it and see what happens here stable so far i'm gonna start turning a little earlier this time only because i do not want to waste my fuel so the faster we can start wrapping around the earth the better i just want to keep this very stable as well Ooh, this feels this feels like things could screw up really easily and yeah i definitely don't think we have enough fuel we're already halfway out <laughs> um so we might have to use that other stage i think we're gonna need some solid fuel boosters or just more fuel 
But yeah, this is definitely not enough to get us into orbit. So let's go back and see if maybe adding some solid fuel will help us. Okay, so I think I'm going to add three solid stage boosters or rockets. I also added some aerodynamics to hopefully help with our balancing issues. Uh, I added two couplings or decouplers for every rocket as well because I did see there are they are massive. If I do want to use the MD ones, which I think I do. Like, look at the size of these things. It's bigger than my damn rocket. Uh, but hopefully with those multiple decouplers, we should be okay. So we'll put that there. All right, well, we got that. Let's get some nose cones for added aerodynamics here. I think this time, my first rocket, I burned both the main stage and then the solid fuel boosters at the same time. I think I'm going to have the boosters go first, decouple, and then do the main stage. Because uh, I feel like we're going to have more than enough thrust with just the boosters on. Let's see if this thing can actually hold up. And wow, it's actually looking much more rigid. Is that really all I needed? Look at me. I'm a rocket scientist after all. But yeah, we have more than enough fuel. So let's play it safe. We're going to go straight up, waste a lot of fuel because we have a lot. And uh, then we'll start maneuvering once we're hopefully out of the atmosphere. Oh, I have to say, I can't believe how well this is working. It is keeping rigid. It is rock hard straight, baby. And we are 7,000 meters up out of the first stage of the atmosphere. We still have a long ways to go, uh, but we have the feel to get there, I think. We're only halfway through these damn things. Uh, I am seeing we are leaning a bit, it looks like. Oh, hey, look, our destination right in front of us, hopefully at least. And yes, now that we're reaching outside of the atmosphere, oh my god, we're actually in space right now. Maybe I should start maneuvering. Um Oh, oh, I don't I don't I don't like this. I don't this is oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea, but I am going to start doing it anyways. Maybe I should have did this earlier. It has it is actually more stable than I thought. All right, but there we go. They are done. Let's just let this thing even out so we don't crash it into ourselves. Oh my god, this is we're going straight up. We are going so fast. All right, let them go. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. And now we're going to have to get crafty because, yeah, we're just going straight into space and back down. So I don't know if this is a waste. It probably is, but I don't want to go that high because I feel like that will make it harder to orbit. So if we start doing this now, how much fuel are we going to need to orbit from like here? I don't know if this is smart or not, but I'm having fun. Okay, that's going to take 2,000 fuel. Yeah, I don't have enough for that. So what we're going to do is wait till we get to the top then and start burning then. We might not even orbit. We might just try and launch over to the MUN. So if we create a maneuver plan here, let's see if this is more fuel efficient or not. I feel like because it's further away, it might not be, but I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so that definitely used less. I wonder if I can press more of these arrows and be all scientific-like and waste less fuel. So if I rotate it this way... Now I can back down this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I know what I'm... I kind of know what I'm doing. What the hell? All right. I think I'm happy with that. We're going to have a lot of fuel left. We also have a whole other tank. Goal of that tank is to get back to Earth or Kerbin. But if we need to use it to get to the Mun, we can. So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to... Oh, crap. I need to uh, set up for a maneuver here. And in 30 seconds, we are going to burn... And go. Full throttle ahead. Only a 40 second burn. So I thought it would be a bit longer than that. But this must be a really fast rocket. Just looking at the thing. It's looking good. We... Oh, why are we going so far down? I don't I don't like this. This is scaring me now. I feel like we're going to hit the damn Kerbin. Oh, it's just... <laughs> my orbit is so lopsided. That's why. Oh, wait. That actually didn't work. Um... Interesting. So I did the burn. Maybe I timed it wrong. That's okay. We can add another maneuver. We have fuel to waste, so it's fine. We're just going to add one more. And I mean, look at my orbit already. I'm basically going out to the moon if I do this burn. 821. I have 1,362. So yeah, we'll just do an extra burn here. Hopefully that fixes it. And then our orbit is absolutely insane, but that's fine. And burning again. Please tell me it works this time. 19 second burn. I was really hoping to save some of this fuel, but I don't think we're going to get that lucky. All right, but it's looking like we actually are in orbit now. I did it right this time and stop burn. There we go. We are pretty much orbiting out to the MUN. So if I could time this orbit right, we could maybe do a small burn right by the MUN and get over to it. But let's just make sure we're actually in orbit. 
And indeed, we're actually going further out than my um my plotted one, but that's okay. Look at this orbit. This is insane. And I still have a whole fuel tank left. Look at me. Okay, after fiddling with this, we got a burn of 216. I'm trying to get into the Mun's Orb of Influence for as long as possible. I'm thinking that might look good here. Let's save here because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But yeah, I think this looks good. So that's only a 233 burn. We still have 700 in the tank after that. That might be enough to actually land here. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to move ahead a bit and start this next maneuver. Okay, and burn. Not for long. Not long at all. And God, I hope it's the right. I'm too focused on the thing. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have stopped there. Uh, I think I was supposed to go for a little bit longer. That's okay. We're still going into the Mun's Orb of Influence. So if I create a maneuver plan here... Huh, I'm not really understanding the whole maneuver plan right now. You know what? I might just wait till I get closer and then hope for the best. Okay, we're coming up. We're coming up. This might be a dumb idea. I don't know. Um, I just want to get actually in the orb first and create a maneuver plan here. Oh, okay. Uh, what's this? 413. I actually got an orbit. It's a really weird maneuver plan, but I was just kind of fiddling with the arrows and hoping for the best and the best came. So assuming this maneuver plan works, we should be with an orbit of the mun with not much fuel left. All right, so I need to time this burn perfectly. I cannot screw up. There we go. There we go. There we go. What is going on? Why am I going the other way? I don't know what's going on. I just need to focus on the burn. Just focus on the burn, baby. And did I do it? Why does it tell me to stop so early? Oh, I don't like that. I should have just followed the bar. I'm still in a weird orbit, I think. Let's find out. Yes, indeed I am. I am orbiting the mun. <laughs> I don't What's that arrow? What is that for? I don't know. What, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. So we're going to create a maneuver plan when we're nice and close. And then if we slow this down, 63, I'm really trying to save fuel to slow down so we can actually land. And I want to land on the, on the non-dark side of the moon, obviously. Okay. So we have a nice crash land here. Uh, that's only 181 fuel. And the most important part, that will be on the non-dark side of the moon. I'm going to actually move it ahead a bit. Ooh, wow. The room for error here is not much. So, yeah, I'm going to actually keep it there. Uh, 181. All right, let's try this out. We're going to set up for maneuver. And here we go. And there we stop. Okay, burned a little bit too much. Now I'm going to the dark side. I'm, I am going to burn again. I do not want to deal with the dark side of the moon. Wish I could slow down time with these quick burns, man. This is this is stressful. So yeah, we're going back to hopefully at least light. I need to see the ground, obviously. I mean, there might be a bit bit of light where I'm crash landing now, but I think the fuel's worth it. So here we go again. And oh my god, what the hell? Okay, there. Good, good enough. Why did it go? Why did the bar go up? That doesn't even make sense. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I'm just not a rocket scientist, clearly. All right, so now what I think I'm going to do, I need to get rid of my tank. I don't feel like getting rid of it on the MUN is the good idea. Let's just get rid of it now. So we did. And I should have enough fuel to get back with just this. Does that change my trajectory, though? No, because we're, we're in a vacuum. Weight doesn't matter. All right, so now we're going to set up for retrograde. I'm going to save again because this might take a few tries. Oh, my God. Did I just save with this being... How did that get disconnected? I think I saved with it being disconnected. Why am I spinning as well? Oh, God. All right, well, I'm not sure what I did, but I think I was using this fuel tank on my other rocket. I didn't even know you could do that. Um. So, yeah, I'm back to crash landing on Kerbin, but we only have 837 fuel. I don't think that's going to be enough to get back to Kerbin. But if I can land on the Mun, I'd be happy with that as well. So... Uh, not the most smoothest of, um, setups, but yeah, I honestly would be happy if I could just land on Kerbin, so let's just try it. Okay, okay, chill, chill. <gasps> okay, well, that went way too fast. Let's, let's, let's load. How about that? All right, well, uh, I'm in orbit once again. Well, I'm not in orbit. I'm ready to crash land on the MUN. Uh, have 324 fuel. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'm just going to try and manually do this. I'm just trying to get a feel for the controls here. Um, we're obviously going to burn retrograde and try and slow down a bit. 
Let's pull out my landing gears just in case we actually do land. I I don't know about this. I honestly don't know. We're actually gaining speed, so let's try and What the hell? Why was my stability off? I just realized my stability was off. Let's see if we can restabilize here. Oh god. Oh god, I don't have much time. Please restabilize. I cannot do this manually. I'm going to need your help. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I have 280 left. I can't waste fuel. If we just keep slowly burning. If I, I shouldn't go full throttle. I should just slow down. There we go. For whatever reason, my stability keeps going off. Don't like that too much, but I can turn it back on. Oh, wait. Okay, so it turns off when I click the button. Got it. I'm smart. All right, I don't know how slow I'm supposed to go, so we're just going to very slowly burn to slow this down even more. Oh my god, am I actually going to land this? This is so exciting. I've never been able to do anything like this in Kerbal Space Program. Now, I'm assuming once we get low, we'll go to... Oh, down. I just turned it down. So I'm assuming that means I'm close enough to go down, maybe? I just want to go nice and slow. Even, even if I don't land on my thingies... I'm going to consider it a success if we don't blow up. So I'm just very nervous about my fuel. We are running low. We are on fumes. All right. So I'm using a lot of my fuel, but I want to slow way down. What's my altitude at? Oh, I'm still 3,000 meters above the damn moon. That's insane. All right. Slow it down even more. Slow it down. Slow it down. Oh, my God. I'm at 60 freaking fuel. Yeah, we are not getting back home, by the way. We are not getting back home today. This is also, like, the worst ter ter terrain to land on, but that's okay. Again, I'm hoping we can land on these thingies, but I don't know if that will work or not. Oh, of course it's dark now. Fantastic. Did I just run out of fuel? I freaking ran out of fuel. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to let Jesus take the wheel now. Of course, the sun's going down right when I land. Brilliant timing on my part. I can't see a damn thing. If I land this, I'm going to feel so good, but I feel like we're going too fast. We're going 45 meters a second. Oh, we didn't blow up. We did not blow up. Okay. God, if I had like 20 more fuel, I, I would have been good. It's insane how close it is. All right, let's see if we can get the sun back so I can appreciate this a bit because I can't see a damn thing. There we go. Look at light. I mean, it's not perfect. But it's something. Look at these idiots. The first to spacewalk, Jebediah. Welcome. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just get just get down to the ground, buddy. Well, you know what? I will take it. I might not have landed perfectly. I feel like I could get it, though. That's the thing. If I had a little bit more fuel, I feel like I was well on my way to a successful landing. And for a guy who's never played Kerbal Space Program until about a week ago, I mean, I did play a little bit, but I never took it seriously. I know how hard it is to land on planets in this game, and, uh, well, the Mun's definitely the easiest of them, but I will take it. If I can land and live, th that's a job well done to me. Now, obviously, the ultimate goal is to get back to Earth, and I feel like I can definitely do it. If I land this, I just need a little more fuel. What was so confusing to me is why did this fuel tank deplete? If I would have known that, I definitely would have uh, prepared for the landing. I guess I don't have a jet on this, so I think I had both fuel tanks attached together on my rocket, and I never really considered that. Um, oh, <laughs> I just realized I don't have a rocket to get out of here as well. Oh, God, I am not the smartest. So, yeah, I think I screwed up my staging there. Uh, so, yeah, even if we would have landed perfectly, I would have realized pretty quickly we don't have a rocket to leave. But wait, yes, I did, because I used it to slow down here. Where did my rocket go? I'm so confused. All right, well, regardless, I am definitely not an astronaut, but... Uh, I can pretend to be one on, on YouTube. So yeah, I, I mean, I need to learn a little bit more, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys want to see more. I would love to, you know, challenge myself a little bit more in this game. But yeah, um, I'm not very good at it, but I'm having fun. And I hope you guys are having fun watching as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.